Greetings and salutations. I'm Keb. Welcome to this let's play of Ayutthaya in year 4. And we are still pursuing the White Elephant achievement, though we're going in an opposite direction at the moment. Uh, we'll see where we can, if we can swing this. Should hope so. Ming decided not to rival us anymore, and that's wonderful news. And that was a bit of a problem. Instead, now I'll have to consider the more immediate targets. Let's see. John Food probably can't reach us. Mong Yang is big and dangerous. Let's see, let's move our forces north. Does he plan to siege, or does he plan to actually attack their army? Maybe he can't. No, we need 35 to make a claim. We don't need the diplomats there. We're still losing money. Story of our lives. Yeah, that'll take forever for him to siege down. So, Patani, would you accept death? You would accept death. How nice. This is a Malakan core. So I'll switch it over to Malacca. Let's see here, if I return core, do we gain karma? No, it'll cost karma. Of course, because I'm taking the territory, so it's clever enough to know that at least. And if I take full annexation, it'll be even more karma. And they'll owe seven favors. Uh -huh. Yes. If I instead force them to return over here. Seven favors. But then it says it'll give us karma. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so if I do this and force return. And then take the last province. What's the car karma balance? In total it'll cost me five karma. So, there's a discrepancy here. There really is. Because force return should be precisely the same thing as taking the province there and giving it to someone. When they're your vassal anyway. Uh, I could force them to release a nation, the nation of Iraq. But I don't want to. So, we'll do this. Take all their money. A bit of aggressive expansion and five karma in total. It's fine. Let's do that. And there we go. Oh my goodness. What have you done to this province? No wonder. That's huge. Okay, well. Pay the cost. Let's core it down. Ah, yes, of course, now they became rebels. Well, that's a bit problematic. Well, let's move up. That is a grassland tile, thankfully. And no, I do not want to marry you, SNV. Okay, let's kill him. So, oh, I wonder how long they'll stay our friend at this rate. And we could rival Versailles, of course we could. I don't really want to though, not just yet. 
And now we disable the forts. Probably should switch on the automatic one. There we go. We should probably raise autonomy. Other than that... Yeah, we have to reinforce the army. Send you back to trade, protect trade. Let's see, 379 to 424. 169 to 73, that's probably better. Oh, I forgot the repair settings, let's see. Repair settings again. Let me I forget. Mission settings, there we go. Repair threshold. Any damage. Oh, by the way, that fleet probably has a lot of things that shouldn't be in it. I'll have to think about it dock up. Let's see. Yeah, just dock up and let me split off those two. Now you can protect trade in the Bay of Bengal. With repair setting for any damage. And we'll send these two to join the rest of the fleet up here. Okay, so far so good. Uh, we wanted another marketplace, I think, in this province. Oh, I forgot about that. There was a yeah. I should have taken the delta. It's okay though. Let's see temples. Other temples that are worth it. There are a few. Though that would put us perilously low. And we have a loan, don't we? No, we don't, actually. We do not have loans. Wonderful. There we go. Reinforcements are paid. Cut that back to nothing. Mothball, you eat those guys. Now we're making money. Barely. Let's build another temple. Our income is piddly, yeah, to be honest, but. We are paying a fortune for the Inquisitor, but I need him. I just desperately need the Inquisitor to just clear out some of these heathens. I do want to continue the warmongering, but I can't. I just can't. I do not have the manpower for it. Especially since the next, next war will have to be... ...versus Mong Yang and Lan Na, most likely. Sweet, they have rebels. For that matter, how is our excessive expansion up here? Minus 40. 40 points, 11 points. Khmer, of course, hates us. Pasai is actually concerned. 
That's fine, let them be concerned. I'll calm down in time. Lena is allied to both Meng Yang and Ara Khan. So if I want to avoid Meng Yang, I could deal with that. Because Burma should not be... No, Bengal should not allow John Po to pass through into Burma. Ming is of course still the Bing Great Terror. Let's see. Lana, where are you? There's Wang Yang. 7,000 troops. There's Lana. 5,000. So they're actually doing pretty badly at this point. They're pr probably up and fighting separatists, and they are in a war. Mm, Arakan isn't in this war. Well, they are in that war. They're on. Huh, okay. Arakan has 6,000 troops. Interesting. So Bengal are not doing too hot, I think. Any of these forts? They're not forts. No forts. There's a fort down there and a fort up here, neither of them are sieged. Hmm. Yeah, there's the claim. I don't need a claim. That's fine. Could just have taken it, but then don't want to do that. I want them to be a loyal vassal until it's time to annex them. That's good. So yeah, a war with a war with Lana could be quite interesting. I just don't know if I dare. My manpower reserves are pretty low. And I do not know if I, if I have enough favors. I do have enough favors with Senvi. Almost have enough favors with Pasai. Well, they probably didn't, wouldn't want to join. Distant, distant war and all. We are gaining a fair bit of trade power in the Bay of Bengal. I like that. It seems like this arrangement is the best one for us. So they are more concerned with Japan. Interesting. Oh! Korea is pretty much dead. When did that happen? Fort Korea. Let's see. Ming, come on. Be our friend. Minus 45. Let's see now. If we declare war now, he can't bring Poseidon and he couldn't do it then even if he had the favors. Mongai will not defend them. And Senvi will, would join. Hmm. Okay. Activate the forts. 
and activate the army. Move north. Let's see, how rich are they? They are 94%. And Arakan. 34. Excellent! That means I should actually be able to vassalize both of them. Should. Whether or not I'm able to, that's another question. Okay, let's finish off exploration ideas. They will force them it and we should get a ton of CBs. We're not gonna arrive with Pasai. Not until we have to. Tons of rebels over there. Let's see, they have a fort here. No forts there. Mm, let's see, monetary reforms. Gain tons of inflation and lose a stability point. No, wait. Lose one inflation. Or gain tons of inflation. Reducing inflation costs 75. So I have to click that button twice, that's 150. Instead, if I boost. Well, not from there, but it will still be around 150. So that is actually the better option. That and some quick re inflation reduction. Roughly the same amount of monarch points, but we lose one in lose one inflation. Which we would have done anyway. Oh yeah. No matter. Decision is made. Even if it was a bad one. So let's see here. Declare war. Arakan would join. If I were to declare war on Arakan instead, then I'll get Jampur, which is not ideal. But I won't have to, because they had less than 50 in power. In cost, I mean, uh, let's see. Take none. And Mong Yang will not answer. There we go. And divvy up. Some three units here. That's his capital, yes. Yes. Now it's us versus Lana and Arakan. Let's move you north. All the way there. There we go. It was just an opportunity too good to pass up, to be honest. Let's improve relations with our northern... Uh, northern friend who will hopefully help us out. We just try to quickly try to claim all these provinces. So he won't demand land. He has on the 25th and we on the 18th. Good. March over there. Another military attack. Yes, please. We can actually build artil art artillery units. Of course, we can't afford them, but we can build them. Let's see, Lana's forces are all away, and that's fine. Let them be distant.
The only one we really have to worry about in coalition is Ming. If Ming joins the coalition, we're toast. Other than that, we're fine. And what I'm trying to do now is to vassalize both of these guys. We're going to have a ton, tons of unhappy subjects as a result of that, but oh, look at this. Liberty Desire is way down now. Wonderful. Let's park something at their capital. That's a level 1 fort. Here I need 9, so let's split up the cavalry and 2 infantry. Our friends are all over there. They joined, went straight into the fight over here to try to kill their armies. Why did you bother with that? There's no point. Bengal is really under pressures with all these peasants. You can see. Another guy, and we can't really... Can we afford one? Ah, let's buy one. I don't... I wish I knew why the budget switch is so terribly. Maybe because I'm holding... yeah, because I'm holding the lands. That's probably it. So he's over here fighting rebels and armies and everything. Kill their army. Good. Poor Bengal. Still, that is all of the territories. We should be able to subjugate both of them. And after that... We need to finish off Khmer. Possibly die yet. Possibly fight a coalition war. I definitely hope not, but... It could happen. We are running out of allies. After we do this, I don't think Senwi will be an ally for much longer. We might have to cancel the alliance with Pasai. Even though they are by far the most powerful. I might have to suffer the extra diploma diplomatic costs until I've annexed Arakan, probably. But they have a claim, don't they? They have a claim on Bengal. We actually finished a colony. Go figure. Oh, let's see. Do we want to colonize another province? Do we want to border Borneo? They allied Zulu. My rivals with much more hit and massacre and enemies of enemies of Osai. Huh. Interesting. Well, maybe it's time to secure the area up here in Manila. Yeah, I think so. One colony. I don't think I want to start with two until I'm sure I have. Proper surplus. Let's 
suppose we could settle Guam as well, just to have a forward base. Not exactly the best territory. All these provinces are much richer. Can't afford to switch to a theologian before before our guy dies. Then he probably will do that. And sit quietly. We'll have to do it anyway because our manpower is pretty much destroyed. It's, but it's fine. It is fine. Oh, Bengal seems to have collapsed. I didn't even notice. So this province actually has an arc. Oh, tempting. I wonder. Maybe we could. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. We are able with Bengal. And Bengal has a lot of enemies. Orissa is pretty close to accepting us. Hmm. Food for thought. Oh wait, did that no, it didn't. It didn't drop that far, but it's getting there. Disease outbreaks. Yuck. Come on. 35%. You can fall. You can fall now. That's fine. Don't have to resist anymore. Join us. Ah. What about here? Power projection is dropping, but we don't exactly have any way to exert power. Well, there we go. One of them fell at any rate. Do we have a diplomat available? We don't. Uh, yeah, bring him home. Do one go. Let's see. Aragon. A Thian vessel. Give us all your money. Lanavos wouldn't like it, <laughs> but that doesn't matter. And I do not lose karma. And if I do the same thing here, if I say I want you to be a vessel, it cost me two hundred points, but. Accept it. Okay, that is so. Ultimately, I sh should expect a coalition of at least. Let's see, Diviat gains 37 points. That's probably what I should expect Ming to gain. So that's the problem. I do not want Ming to become with us. I'm fine with becoming under a coalition of Daiviet, Khmer and Mongyang. That is probably fine. I don't want them to revoke a core. Let's see. Get a bit of prestige. I 
suppose I could leave them alone, but nah. I want them. So, become my subject state. And yes, I know you hate me. That's fine. You can hate me. It's only temporary. So we'll start improving relations with you. Finish the core of Batani. Let's see now. Now if I do the same thing here. Will I be across the limit with Ming? I will not. Wonderful. So that, that means I just need the fort to fall. And that it did. Now we return. So. We will make you our subject state. Take all your money. It costs 200 diplo points. Does that mean I can't actually send it? C9 inflation, conquest suffers. 37 aggressive expansion. Khmer, Daiviet, and Mong should be into, into the deep end. But it'll also finish our prestige mission. Yep, yeah, we're doing it. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Wonderful. And now we have too many relations, but that's fine. Conquer Zongla. Songla, Songla. Where's Songla? There. No, I don't really want the border Ming just yet. Colonize Katapang. And that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that mission. We can't really afford it, but who cares? There we go. And now we cut back. Army maintenance. We shut down the forts. Because who needs forts? <laughs> when at peace. And other than that, I think it's time for a short break. So, thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next episode.